This is the Google Play Console app. If you are familiar with this particular app, you know how dangerous they are. Google is somehow a scam. Google Play Console app, as I've explained yesterday in the video, is the mobile app is just here for you to basically be able to preview your app analytics, your app crash analytics, your app information, and to be able to reply to your reviews on the application. So if you are an Android developer who publishes app on Google Play Store, you will need this application to basically see quick analytics of your app, to see the amount of money you are making from your in-app purchases and the likes. So this is just the app. This app is supposed to feel good, but it doesn't feel better. The reason I'm saying this is because Google is somehow a scam. They have terminated thousands of console accounts. If you are familiar with Google Play Console, you know how they terminate thousands of Google Play developer console accounts every single day. This Google Play Console account you create is not even free. It is a $25 one-time fee you make. So whenever you're about to create your Google Play developer console account, where you now publish app before it shows on Google Play Store, Google will charge you $25 for every account you create. So if you want to create an account, Google will charge you $25. And that $25 is non-refundable. They're not going to refund you. Google does not mean business. They mean to scam people. Since thousands of people are creating Google Play developer console account every single day, and they are charging them, you know, $25 each, they will easily terminate your account. Nobody has ever come up to take this particular issue to the government and i believe one day a person is going to challenge google for what they have done for the atrocities and they're going to find them billions of dollars in damages so as you can see this is the google play developer console app where you can preview your app data so if you want to publish your app on google play store for example you head over to your browser and then you you type in play.google dot com slash console so it will now take you to the console page where you create your google play developer console account they have terminated thousands of innocent people who have done nothing wrong. Those who have not even deployed their app to Play Store. Those who just published their app in closed testing. Google brought a policy called closed testing where you have to test your app for 14 days before it finally goes live to the general public on Google Play Store. After all the investment that a lot of people have done, Google just shut down the account. For no justifiable reason, they have no solid evidence that you have violated them. An app is not even yet published on Google Play Store. How do you expect that kind of app to violate? If an app violates and this particular account you are giving to someone, you are not giving it for free. Yes. So if they feel like terminating us, they just make the developer account free for everybody. So that once you create it for free, they will have the right to fully terminate you if they, if they feel like terminating you. Google is just terminating accounts because they feel like terminating accounts. And I believe Google Play Services is not closing you down because they feel like you have violated them. They just terminate accounts based on the fact that they want, they want to terminate accounts. And that's a scam. They are trying to scam us indirectly by basically terminating developer accounts all across the world for no justifiable reason. Google has closed down Fortnite. What is the fault of Fortnite? Fortnite is a multi-billion dollar game that is played by millions, tens of millions of people all across the world. Google took them down from Play Store, terminated their developer accounts. For what? If Fortnite actually violated them, they should remove Fortnite and keep the developer accounts. But now, they remove Fortnite. Fortnite is a big game. And then Fortnite filed a lawsuit to them. And then Fortnite sued them. And from the court, Fortnite has won. But still yet, Fortnite game is still not available on Google Play Store. Google has terminated a lot of people. That's why most American developers are not on Android. They are on an alternative app store, which is the Apple App Store. And I've revealed it to you guys, Apple App Store is the way. You know, the reason why we encourage people to go with Google Play Store at first is because Google is quite affordable and it comes with a one-time fee. It's a one-time fee, $25, you make payment, you don't have to make another payment again. But Apple App Store comes with a yearly recurring fee, which is what, $99 every single year. So if you make an Apple payment today for an Apple developer account today, $99, next year by this time, you are still going to make the same payment. So $99 is currently around one hundred and sixty to one hundred and seventy thousand Naira. If a newbie comes to you and you tell them, okay, that you get an Apple developer account, it's going to be somehow difficult for them. Like for just an account, you have to make payment. What's going to be the guarantee? that they're going to be making money. Apple platform, you know, makes more money than Android platform. iPhones are more expensive than Android and iPhone users have higher purchasing power than Android users. That's why iOS App Store makes more money than Google Play Store. Their Google Admo pays better than that of Google Play Store. If you want to be a developer, if you're a developer who has lost your console account, let's say your programming language, the programming language you learned before was Java or Kotlin. Kotlin and Java are basically for what? For Android development. Then you can now sit up and learn iOS development instead, instead of just giving up. Because I've seen people online, you know, writing, posting from my research I've done. They'll be telling you, okay, Google, they'll, they'll, they'll be saying, Google has ruined their life. Google have wasted all their effort. Then his developer account is gone and this and that. So they'll be, act like Google is the one that is going to showcase their value. Google should not be the one that defines your value. Google Play services should not be the only source that defines your value. It's not your end. If your console account is gone, doesn't mean you are gone. 99.9% of times, if you appeal for a terminated console account, you'll not get it back. Google, if they terminate you, they just feel like terminating you. They have no evidence to show you. They, they give you the same reason they are giving to other people. So what are you going to do? Are you going to kill yourself? Are you going to give up being a developer? If you lose your developer account, that's where your development journey begins. God is trying to take you into 
a better alternative app store a better one that pays more than google play store in terms of money if you have an app with a thousand downloads on play store and the same app with a thousand downloads on apple app store you can make a thousand dollars from that app on the apple app store or more because apple app store has high purchasing power on google play store you can you cannot even make up to a hundred dollars from that that same app but on apple app store the users the, the people that are making use of iphone have higher purchasing power than android users and that's why i can say iphones are expensive if someone could afford an iphone of eight hundred dollars one thousand dollars one thousand six hundred dollars that same person could still afford to make in app purchases in your app they can pay at least four dollar a month on your app they can pay at least three dollar a month on your app if you have like ten thousand you know app users and let's say 1,000 out of them don't want to see your advertisement. They can end up paying you 1,000 times $4.99 a month. That's like $5,000 approximately every single month. If you have users that are ready to pay you money. So let's say you have like 100,000 downloads on Apple App Store, for example. And 5% of them want to pay for the, you know, uh, to remove advertisement from your app. 5% of 100K is like 5,000. So 5,000 times, let's say your app is $4.99 a month. That's like $24,000. There are some cases where you could have like 30,000 app downloads, 30,000 app downloads, and you can be making up to $30,000. What I'm trying to let you guys know is what album is not the only way for you to be able to make money, you know, in USD. You can basically go to the alternative app store, which is better. It is 100,000 times better than Google Play Store. It's the Apple App Store. Even if you are a no coder, if you're using Kotlin and Java before, you can basically learn Swift. Go and learn Swift programming or learn a React Native for you to start de developing apps for, you know, Apple App Store. If you are a Flutter developer, basically proceed. Don't give up on your Android. Just forget about Android. Don't go and create a new console account. Don't try to create another console account. Don't waste your time. Don't brood. Don't kill yourself. Don't stress out. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. I've guided a lot of people who are actually making money today from the Apple App Store. So you should not be disturbed. If you have never been terminated on Android before, proceed. Proceed with caution. Avoid overbuilding apps. Build a simple app that you can promote across time and then make money from Google AdMob and the likes. But if you want to make insane money, money that you can use to buy big, big cars, we're in the community of a lot of people that are making more than 70,000 US dollars every single month from the Apple App Store. From Apple App Store in Apple Chases. App Store Connect in Apple Chase on the Apple App Store. So if you're if you're on Android, you are wasting your time. If you know you want to proceed towards deep development, we can teach you how to do no code. If you are someone who doesn't know how to code, you can basically proceed with no code and then how to what to develop Android and iOS apps. What we're going to be teaching you on the course will guide you on how to basically you know build apps and games for iOS and Android, premium apps and premium games for iOS and Android. So you can deploy your apps to the Apple App Store. Even if you have lost your console account, create an Apple developer account. We are going to guide you through the whole thing in the course. So if you want to learn how to do this, click on the link in the description and join our course now. We're in a community of a lot of people who are making between $10,000, 10,000 pounds, 10,000 euros every single month to a hundred thousand dollars. There are a lot of apps on the Apple App Store by people that don't even have deep experience in programming or in coding. They are using no code and they are making basically between ten thousand dollars to two hundred thousand dollars every single month. Apple App Store doesn't just guarantee you security, but they also guarantee you that you're going to make more money because on this platform you can deploy real apps and games that actually charges users, not just through Google AdMob ads alone. If your app is published on Apple App Store, you can also make money on Google AdMob. Apple App Store is an AdMob supported app store. If you have like ten thousand users on Android and ten thousand users on Apple App Store, you can earn up to a hundred thousand dollars every single month from Apple App Store platform. But on the Google Play Store, is not guaranteed. If you have like 10,000 daily active users on your app on the Google Play Store, you can make up to like $1,000 every single month. But if you have the same 10,000 app users, daily active users on your app on the Apple App Store, you are sure to make up to $100,000 because Google AdMob ads that serves for those on the Apple platform come with what? A higher eCPM. We have apps that is earning like up to $50, $60 per every 1,000 ad views. So if you have like 10,000 users, you know, using your app every single day and there's a 100,000 impression on a daily basis, you can times $50 by 100. It's going to be a bigger amount. But on Android, no app is going to give you like $50 ECPM. Let's see, averagely $0.5 ECPM to $2 ECPM, $2.5 maximum ECPM. So this is what we are saying. Most of the earnings I'm displaying to you guys are from the Apple App Store platform. If you want to be at peace with your development journey, to be a developer, if you want to make it your career, then don't focus on Android, no matter who you are. Focus on the Apple App Store. I've given you guys what I don't want to actually say it out because it will look like we don't know what we are doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm not hiding any information. I'm just trying to make it clear to you guys that what your dream as a developer is not ruined. Don't limit yourself. If I'm not available, you guys, some of you guys don't want to maybe invest in knowledge. So I'm back here and I'm letting you guys know the way. On the Apple App Store, you wake up on a daily basis without the fear of losing your account. If your app violates them on the Apple App Store platform, what they'll do is what? They'll give you 30 days, 30 good days to fix the app. 
You understand? 30 good days to fix the app and you can request for more days. But on Google Play Store, even if your app violates or not, they will not even give you any notice. What they will do is just terminate you. It doesn't really make any sense to me. So if you are a developer and a beginner, if you have the source to basically proceed with Apple App Store, get started with that instead of Android. And if you don't have the money, you can proceed with Android. Android is not bad, but if you are unlucky, you lose your account, even if you do nothing to them. What I'm trying to let you guys know here is what? If you want to learn how to deploy both Android apps and iOS apps, if you want to learn how to build both apps, you can join our course link in the description. If you have a tablet, it's going to be better for you on this course. Tablet is going to help you so much. If you have a tablet, if you have a laptop, it's the no-code course. You are not going to learn how to code. You are not going to be coding. It's a no-code course. Learn how to what? To develop apps without coding. And you can deploy them. Those are premium apps. The tools we are going to be using are tools that will compete with someone who is programming. If you can develop an app with programming, I can develop the same app without code. You can develop a video, a social media video download with coding. I will develop the same app without coding. Even those guys who are claiming that they are coding, they are just reskinning application. They don't really know how to do everything on their own. So if I can challenge you with no code to develop the kind of app you are using coding to develop, then you should know what our course is something else. What I'm trying to let you guys know is, if you want to make money on Google AdMob legitimately, without the fear of getting banned every single day you wake up, without the fear of losing your developer account, then go with Apple App Store. Apple App Store has over 45 million plus registered app developers as of 2024. So that means over 45 million people are paying Apple $99 every single year to keep their account. So let's say if a year comes by and you, you are unable to make the $99 payment, Apple will give you one month free for you to source the money and pay them. And they charge you that money every single year because they believe their platform is going to give you what you want. If you are on Apple App Store and you put in, let's say 20% of your effort, I guarantee you that you will make up to $100,000 every single year. That's the platform. And that's what we do. We're not just saying this thing to just, you know, like a casted update. No. We have people among you guys that really want to, you know, go into tech. And if I don't let you guys know the truth, you just end up, you know, giving up. Some people have given up. Some people have basically, you know, to some extent, you know, lo lost their life, you know, because of the fact that Google terminated. Just imagine having 10 million users on your app and all of a sudden Google closed you down. There was a developer from Sabia as of 2023 that had the same issue. This guy have, a, he have an app. Go to Google Play Store and search for Battery Guru. This is the app the guy has. This Battery Guru app was removed from Play Store for no justifiable reason. And that's the main app this guy has. The app has over 2 point something or 3 point something million users as of then. This guy was making money from Google AdMob and he was making money from, you know, the in-app purchases on the Google Play Store. Google Play Store just removed his app for no justifiable reason. If you are doing the right thing on Google Play Store, they can still remove you. If your app is getting traction for no reason, they can still remove you. They can ban you at any time without giving you any notice and they, they have the right to do so. That's what they claim to have. And I believe one day Google is going to be sued for what they have done and that's billions of dollars in damages. So this guy's app was removed. Luckily, this guy came up to us and then we have to go through all the routes to contact Google for Google to reinstate the account. Google reinstated the app and reinstated his account in less than 48 hours because we took serious you know, chances we took, we went through the, what the hardest route on them. Google have no evidence for what they are doing. Most of the termination you are seeing is automated and both system. So if, let's say, your console account name is Loaded Apps LLC or Loaded Apps Limited or Loaded Apps Incorporated, if another person comes to Play Store, let's say after you got terminated, and the person's name starts with what? Maybe Load Apps LLC. Not Loaded, Load Apps LLC. Something like that. Do you know what Google will do? They will see you are related to the person that was terminated. They will, they will, not, they will still close you down. If you use, let's say, at times, the same bank card for example you are using a uba bank you know domiciliary account to create your console account you use the card another person use the same card and let's see your name status in some ways do you know what google do if they terminate the person they will say okay you are somehow re related to the person if they don't terminate you immediately they will terminate you as time goes on if you are on the google place for now then you should be very very careful because google is just wiping off everybody even if you're a big company google can still wipe, wipe you off so if you have lost your developer account look for an alternative the alternative is app store and i'm showing you on the screen as you guys have seen on the screen i've showed you guys a lot of evidence of the earnings from what from the apple app store from through their google AdMob and also through in app purchases a lot of people are making money here on the platform so if you're interested in tech and you are really interested in developing app avoid google play store if you have been terminated before if you have never been terminated this course is for you if you have been terminated already you can still go with this course so you should not give up on your development journey you know if you want to basically become a developer who earns money and then who makes money from maybe google AdMob and in app purchases then your investment on the google play store platform should be like 10 percent the remaining 90 percent of your investment should be invested in apple now if you really enjoyed the video click on the like button click on the link in the 
the description to join our course we have more videos if you guys want me to create more videos like this i'm going to be dropping it for you guys so this is like something i've shown you guys you can basically deploy your apps to the apple app store and make money without stress without the fear of losing your account or you can basically build web apps if you are not interested in the apple app store or if you are not interested on google play store anymore you can build web apps that you can see monetize with google adsense you can build web apps that you can monetize this software as a service SaaS. with SaaS, people can actually use a web app and they will what they will pay you every single month for example let's say you have like a hundred thousand users on your web app and let's say nine thousand people out of them are seeing advertisement on your website or web app the nine thousand that are seeing the advertisements they will be seeing adsense ads so you're making money from ninety thousand daily active users on your app on your web app which is like in front of a website but a web app and then the remaining 10 percent will basically pay you to use your web app every single month they can pay you let's say 1.99 dollars a month 2.99 dollars a month to so 10,000 users times 2.99 dollars a month 3.99 dollars a month that kind of payment you get it through stripe so this there are a lot of opportunities endless opportunities so google play store should not be the definition of your life you there is no code web development there is what's coded web development you can start learning all these things if you want to be guided and mentored with us then click on the link in the description to join our no code class so ladies and gentlemen google may have shot a single door trust me God has opened a thousand more. Click on the link in the description and join us. Till we meet in the class.